hey guys welcome to ss unitech susil this side and today we are going to see how we can load the data from the csv file to the json with the nested hierarchy so it will be the formatted json that we want to generate from the csv file so before going forward if you haven't watched the last video of this video series so i would strongly recommend to watch that video because this is the continuation of that video on that video we have discussed how we can load the data into the csv file from the json with the nested hierarchy so here we are going to do the reverse so let me quickly see the source and the formatted json that we want to generate from that csv file so here our source is available under the output folder of the blob storage and here the sales underscore json dot csv file so it is having the total six column with the sales order id sales order date country item quantity and value so we want to generate the formatted json by using this csv file so how we can do that we'll see in this video what we want to see in the formatted json that should be like sales order id will be the first column second will be the sales order date then the sales country so these three columns should be available like this and after that item quantity and value so these three will be into the nested json so as we can see for the sales it is having total three items so that's why we can see total three like this so how we can do that in the azure data factory so we cannot use the copy data activity to convert the csv file to the json file because it will not be formatted like this that will be having sales order id sales order date country item quantity and value everything will be in sequence and that will not be having the nested json that we are seeing here so how we can do that let me go into the browser and we'll try to implement this in practical so let me go into the azure data factory here let me try to add a new data flow and this time our source file is available at the azure blob storage so let me try to create a new data set for the same let me click on new azure blob storage click on continue file that is the delimited text click on continue here let me try to select the link service that we have already created let me browse this go to the output folder and under the output folder we are having the file that is sales underscore json dot csv so this is the file we have created in the last video so let me click on ok first row as header so that is true let me click on ok so this will be going to create a new data set with the delimited text to data preview this so it will be having all the columns like six column and the values on that so here as we can see we are having one 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 so we don't want to keep the values like one 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 like this we should be going to have only a single row and for the item quantity and value are repeating so these three should be coming as an array so how we can do that for that first we need to create a new column and that will be the sales column and which will be having the sub columns like item quantity and value so how we can achieve that we need to use the derived column transformation and under the derived column transformation on this we are required to add a new column that column is the sales column but this column will be having the sub columns with the item quantity and value so how we can do that we can go and open the expression builder here so in this expression builder if we can go in the sales and click on this plus symbol here we can see the add sub column so once we click on the add sub column then it is asking the name so first will be the item so we can call this column as item and the expression value this value should be coming as an item from your source so that is okay next we can add another column and this sub column the name of this will be the quantity and under the expression here we can see like item is the first one second is the quantity so we can specify values like item 
second value will be like quantity and third value for this will be like value like this so it should be having total three columns so if we can go here and we can check so once we save this then we can see total three sub columns item quantity and value so this item value is coming from the item of your source quantity is coming from the quantity of the source then value is coming from the value of the source i have specified the same name so that's why it might be confusing so let me try to add the item id here quantity value something this number let me try to save so we can see so item id quantity value quantity number so these values are the column names and whatever the value that we are getting from the source will be assigning over here now let me try to save and finish so this sales is having total three columns and item quantity and value let me go into the data preview and try to refresh so this time we should be able to see all the records with the sales as we can see then here quantity number and the value so all these are here and coming properly next what we need to do next we are required to use the aggregate transformation because this is coming as in columns but these are not coming as an array so how we can convert that so for that we have to use the aggregate transformation so under the aggregate transformation here in the group by we need to select the columns so soid is okay the first column we want to do the grouping so date and the last column will be the sales country so as we can see in the json file soid so date and country so these three are the grouping columns and after that this will be item quantity and value is the aggregate so if we can go on the aggregate side so here we need to add the column which is the sales and here for converting those we need to use the collect function so what this collect function will do collect function will be going to convert your sales column values that is the item quantity and value into the array so let me save and finish go to the data preview and try to refresh so this time we should be able to see the data as expected like sales order id date and country and after that here we can see the sales so it is converted properly into an array so it is having the values like sales order id 1 2 and 3 so these item ids are here so next we can directly dump into the sink so here we can go and try to add a new sink let me try to add a new data set azure blob stories then we want to keep this into the json file so we need to select the json click on continue here we can select the link service then we want to keep this file into the input folder click on ok everything looks ok click on ok so now let me try to save all these and let me go into the input folder of the container and here let me try to remove the json file that we are already having that is the sales.json let me try to remove this file from the source end here let me try to add a new pipeline and under this pipeline we are going to use the data flow one and try to execute this once it will be executed then we should be able to see the file under this input folder and that file will be having the formatted json from the csv file so it got executed successfully let me go into the blob storage and here let me try to refresh it so here we should be able to see one more file that is the sales.json file once we are going to see the data under this so it should be having the formatted json as we have already seen there so as we can see the sales order id one then the sales order date and after that here we can see the sales so this sales 
is having the nested value of the item quantity and value so here as we can see the sales order id 1 2 and 3 as well so it is having the formatted json as we were expecting so let me try to repeat again what we have done in this video so in the data flow first we have added the source and after that we have added this derived column so in this derived column transformation we have added the new column which is the sales and under the sales column we have written the expression to add the sub columns so under the sub columns like the item id quantity and value and we are assigning the value on these column from the actual source which is the item quantity and value and after doing this the data which we have already seen is the string value so we need to convert this string into the complex data type that is the array so for that we are required to use the aggregate transformation under this aggregate transformation we have written all the columns those are not going to part of the nested sub value so those are in the group by like the soid so date and country whatever the value we want to keep in the nested json that is coming here so that is the only sales and for this column we need to convert this into the json format so we have to use the collect function with that complex type of column so that we have done and after that we are simply loading into the destination site so this is we have done in this video so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video